mga babayan, ang mahal natin at ang nagmamahal sa atin, Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas, Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Maraming salamat po. Kindly sit down. Uh, Alam mo, uh, bihirang bihira ako umiiyak. Lalo na nung I could remember maybe the times that I cried, my father and mother died, but uh, uh, rare, very rare. Ito lang ang bisita ko na Maybe I will do it again. I really do not know. But this is the first time na paluha ako na nandito ako sa aking mga kababayang Pilipino. Uh, maybe because uh, nandito rin ako sa Holy Land. And do not believe that... Uh, hindi ko naman sinabing hindi ako naniniwala ng Diyos. Sinabi ko lang, ayaw kong maniwala sa Diyos mo. You know, when you attack me in public, using God as a platform, picturing me or portraying me as a devil, you open the issue to debate. But I believe in the supreme God that my father and mother pass into me. So, huwag kayong maniwala dyan sa intriga na hindi ako naniniwala ng Diyos. Politika lang yan, kagaya ng ngayon, sinasabi nila na may shortage daw ng bigas. Eh, marami namang humibigas. Eh, para paparating pa nga dito eh. <laughs> ngayon, sumobra nga. You know, those are politics. But, uh, I would like to remind you that uh, I won because of the vote of the Filipino. Alam ninyo na wala akong... Well, PDP was a political party, but, but it was more bond. Hindi uh, masyado active with a few members. But when I ran... It, become the, it has become the, the, the party now because of the one, uh, well, no, pagka presidente, ikaw ko talagang mahawak ng uh, partido. So, may ako na ipakilala yung mga bisita natin because I have some urgent uh, things to tell you. First is, I would like to thank Israel for inviting me to visit the Holy Land. Second is I would also like to uh, say thank you for hosting so many of my countrymen in the state of Israel and that uh, I, I have yet to, to hear any, any na problema manggaling man uh, sa anong-anong klaseng Pilipino nandito. You know, Alam mo tayong Pilipino ganito. You speak, we speak different languages. Ako, Bisaya, kayo, Ilocano. Then yung iba, Bicolano. Oh. Oh, sige, sige. Sige, puro guwapo na lang para pagpapanganda. Para. Okay, one of the few Filipino places outside of the country nagkikita ko na may, may maraming maganda talaga. Sa ba, labi pa lang, bakit ang mga ganda hindi pinapasok? Bakit ang mas maganda lang ang pinapasok? Well, anyway, uh, I would like to say with gratitude sa uh, Israel for inviting me and for being good to my countrymen. 
Uh, besides, uh, siguro, ay, uh, may ang asawa ko, uh, Zimmerman. So, one of the few yung pumunta sa Pilipinas noong when there was war in Europe. They were there to seek sanctuary. They were there to avoid the trouble of the times. And uh, my daughter is Zimmerman. It's one of those uh, descendants nila. Kaya ito, pero ito lang ang uh, is Zimmerman na nanuntok ng sirip sa... Well, that is the first. The second is I'm here because of the sheer number uh, of Filipinos. Uh, and I would like to just have a dialogue with the government. Tignan ko kung anong maitulong ko para to better manage the huge number of my countrymen here. And after that, I'll go to Jordan also. There are 48,000 doon. Mga 28 kayo dito. It behooves upon me to see to it na yung mga kababayan kong Pilipino are in the best of health and a state of uh, living na maganda. One of the best places that you have to. And I don't mind. Isa sa pinakamagandang lugar na pwede mo talagang mapuntahan and you are treated as a human being. <laughs> Kaya if Hindi naman minasama if it is not really a, a wrong proposal, pardon me, but if Israel would want, ipadala ko doon lahat ang Pilipino dito. <laughs> Kasi mas maganda ang buguh buhay dito. Well, ngayon about my, about my job, uh, I said uh, you voted for me. Uh, I never had, uh, except for the help of Aimee Marcos in Luzon and Abet uh, Garcia of Bataan. Wala na po akong leader. Ni barangay captain isa o kagawad lang man, wala ako. In the entire Visayas where my father comes from, Cebu, Danao, wala nga ako doon. In the entire region, on the sa Cebu, wala akong isang, doon ang tatay ko na pinanganak, ha? ni wala akong isang paski konsihal na barangay. And in Mindanao, well, of course, uh, katagaroon na kasi ako, I, I raised, I was nurtured, and I was... Uh, I grew up in Mindanao, so Mindanao one talaga ako. I would never claim to be anything else except a creature coming from... So, nanalo talaga ako. And it was because of my messaging. Now, I'd like to tell you that I came here for is really to explain to you that all the promises that I have made to the Filipino, kinukumply ko ngayon. Madali lang kasi ako noon matapos ng speech because I had none. Except that I said, if you elect me, about five, from, even during the presidential debates, I was the first to finish because kukunti lang ang masabi ko. Ang sinabi ko lang sa Pilipino na I will try to stop corruption in government. Ginagawa ko po iyan. And the first to benefit from that order was ang mga kababayan ko even returning to the Philippines. Wala na hong inspection ngayon ng mga bag. Pinagbawal ko talaga yan. Wala na. Magpag-uwi kayo, wala nang... Al alam mo kasi, I really find it uh, almost unsettling na wala, no, no particular administration. 
na pagbaba niya sa pag deep lane sa cargo, it goes down to a bodega and it is loaded to the conveyor going up, meron na ang x-ray doon. Bakit po mag-x-ray noon? Kaya sabi ko, tanggalin na ninyo yan, pati yung Amen. Sabi ko, bakit? Pati yung tanim, pag nahuli ko kayo dyan, sabi ko, kakainin mo talaga yung yawa. Oh. Ngayon, wala na yan. Kung tanim pera, huwag na lang kayo maingay, didalagdin mo na. Pero, you can go in and out sa Uh, customs ngayon, wala nang... May x-ray. Eh kung, kung walang silbi, itapo na natin yan. So, yan ang isa dyan. No more si Art. Ni warning ang Tugadi is here. Si Art Tugadi, ito yung classmate ko sa law school sa San Beda. He was our valedictorian. Nakita mo ngayon ang, ang kagaganda ng infrastructure ng mga high, mga airports, kanya yan, sa Cebu, kayo mga taga Cebu, if you go home now, kaganda ng airport ninyo, totoo lang. First class, just like Hong Kong, and, uh, alam mo, sabihin niya, to, art, tuwindig nga, taga, taga yan ito, mahusay ito, valedictorian namin yan sa College of Law. And, alam mo, noon he used to be a working student. But through hard work, he was at that time a student, but he was already a CEO of a shipping company. Ngayon po, bilyonaryo ito. Huwag kayong maniwala ng mga no such thing. He's really a billionaire. Isa sa mga classmates ko. Kaya nag-assemble ako ng lahat na ano, na walang, basta corruption wala yan. Ang the latest that I fired was a general of the armed forces of the Philippines. Ba, yun na po, sabi ko sa kanila, wag na wag. Kasi yung team ko na pumasok kasama ko, nung poro, nagsilbi sa akin since I was a mayor na wala na almost lahat. Kaya yan ang irony of life. Pupunta sa iyo, udyuking ka, sabihin rin, tumakbo ka na kasi corruption dito nung baka matapos to. Eh, nagpresidente nga ako. Sila naman pala ang nauna. <laughs> ano, ganyan talaga ang buhay. Kaya kayo, Nung mag-uwi kayo, tapatakbuhin kayo doon ng mayor, tapos gano'ng... Sabi mo na, okay lang. Basta matino lang kayong lahat. 